Hello everyone, this is John Mikey, also known as Asian John in the pool world. Uh, and I wanted to specifically shoot this video for all the pool room owners out there that are looking to use the power of the internet to drive more business to your uh, pool rooms. Okay. Lately I've been working with a lot of different uh, people in the pool industry, whether it's queue manufacturers, uh, pool room owners, and people that have different products for the people that enjoy billiards and pool. And you know, I've learned that there's a lot of, of you guys out there <laughs> that want to learn how to use the power of the internet to effectively drive more traffic and more business to whatever that you're trying to promote. Okay. And you know, I kind of wanted to keep things separately because I actually that was my background. And that's what I've been doing for the last seven years: the marketing and and and, and building different websites uh, and driving traffic. Because I always tell people it doesn't matter if you have a website if you don't have if your if your if your website's not making you money if you're not bringing uh, customers to it. I mean, it's really like a colored brochure. And you know, I always tell people you know you your your website is supposed to drive business to your you know. Uh, whatever it is whether it's a pool room or you're you're trying to sell some cues or or you're doing whatever you're trying to do to to get people to your website it should serve a purpose other than just being a colored brochure okay and so I've been working a lot lately with different pool room owners and uh, people in the market and I wanted to show you specifically what uh, you know how I was able to drive traffic to uh, this particular pool room um, in in Atlanta Georgia okay and we're gonna go uh, to Google, and we're going to type in uh, pool pool halls in Atlanta. Because you know, here's the thing, guys. Um, the first thing people do, especially if they're out of town or they're looking, if they enjoy pool, they're looking um, to get out with their friends or something, and they just want to go shoot some pool. The first thing they're going to do is go to Google and type in uh, whatever city that they're in. Uh, let's take for example Atlanta. Okay. So they're going to they're gonna go to Google or they're going to go to their Blackberries or iPhones and the first thing they're going to type in is pool hall. Pool halls, Atlanta. Okay? And this is what's going to come up. Okay, now you have the different pool rooms in Atlanta that are, that are going to be coming up. Okay, you got the Independent, you got the East Point Tavern, you got the Sandy Spring Billiards. Actually, this is a, uh, the uh, pool room that I just specifically worked on. Uh, Mr. Q's, Little Five Points, Tony Sparks Bar and Grill, Morgan Falls, and you know, kind of the list goes on and on. If you see down here, what you want to do as a pool room owner, and sometimes if you're in a small city and you type in that uh, pool halls in your specific city, you probably already might be already there. Um, but I'm going to show you exactly how to claim your listing because a lot of the times that people are there by default and they haven't even claimed their listing and what's very important to claim your listing because then you can make some changes and you can tweak it to where you can drive more people uh, clicking on your website and to come into your uh, business okay you can run some specials coupons and other things to take advantage of to get your peop to get people over to your uh, pool rooms okay so this is very very important uh, pool halls Atlanta okay I wanted to show you guys the the number one uh, sir, the number one person that comes up is this 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 guy here, and if you type if you click on the reviews, and this is what I mean, guys. You got edit this place or business owner, and a lot of you guys that have pool room owners are gonna fall into this category, and you want to hurry up and claim your business because if you don't claim your business, then somebody can come in here, edit this, and redirect that traffic over to their pool hall. And that's something you don't want to do. Okay, so what you want to do is make sure you claim this business. And let's say, for example, I wanted uh, this was my pool hall. I would just go in here and just click on yes, I'm the business owner. Okay, and then it would automatically uh, I would log into my account and it'll let me claim that listing. Okay, it'll verify it by calling your number at your business to make sure that's your business. Okay, so. Let's go back. Let's go back to the listings here. Okay, so you want to claim it. That's the number one thing. Uh, if you're watching this video and if you're a pool owner, type in the specific city that you're that you're at and claim your listing quickly before somebody else does. Okay. Okay. So we're going to go back to the pool rooms in Atlanta, Georgia. Okay. I want to show you guys something. Um, if you guys don't think there's people typing in your uh, pool halls in Atlanta, pool halls Detroit, pool halls. Uh, West Palm Beach, pool, ball, pool halls, Miami. 
I'm going to show you guys exactly where to go, and you'll see the number of people that are specifically typing that in, okay, in, the, in, in Google. So we're going to go to Google search engine, okay, we're going to type this specific, specific keyword into the Google search engine, okay, AdWords keyword tool, okay, and when you type this in, you're going to click on this first initial website, okay, Okay, again, I want to explain to you this software uh, that Google has. It's free. It's available for anybody. Um, basically, what it is, it just records every keyword that everybody's typing in into the uh, Google search engine. And you definitely want to take advantage of this because if you know this, if you know what people are typing in and how many people are typing in specific keywords for your particular uh, you know, products and services or whatever it is, I mean, you pretty much uh, can get a good count and uh, you definitely want to take advantage of this uh, tool that's out there for all of us for free okay and you know Google is not a billion dollar company for nothing they pretty much have the monopoly uh, for when it comes to search engine and they're making a killing you know they're getting a cut off each keyword that any, anybody types in in the search engine think about getting a cut off every keyword that anybody types in the search engine it's pretty remarkable you know um, you know uh, that <laughs> they'll be able to make a profit like that but it's pretty amazing and they're just a big 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 company but we're gonna type in pool halls in Atlanta and you know I do searches for really anything that you know I want to get into this is the first place I go to see if there's even a market for it okay but we're gonna type in pool halls in Atlanta and see what comes up okay now it's going out and gathering the data okay Internet is a little slow, but here is the results that come up. You see that people are typing in pool halls in Atlanta 480 times, okay? Pool halls without the S, 260 times, okay? Pool halls in Atlanta, 73 times. You got bowling alleys in Atlanta. Sometimes they have bowling alleys in Atlanta that have pool tables. Uh, you got the pool hall in Atlanta 36 times. And you see all the different variations that people are typing in. Pool, uh, billiard pool halls, you know? Billiard Pool Hall 590, Atlanta Pool Halls the other way around, and you know you kind of get an idea of what people are looking, uh, all the different variations of the keywords that people are typing in. Okay, Billiard Atlanta another 390, Billiards in Atlanta 590. Okay, so if you know there's a uh, you know a rough estimate I did uh, I did a kind of a count a rough estimate of about two or three thousand people that are typing in different variations of the keywords they're looking for a pool in Atlanta. Uh, you definitely want to be there okay so let's go back to the listing so when people type in pool halls in Atlanta you want to get here into <laughs> the top top uh, rankings of this the, of the section and like I said a lot of you guys are already here by default and make sure you claim your listing because once you can you know that's that way you can tweak it like, and, and run specials and other ways to get people into your business because you know, three thousand, two to three thousand people a month looking for a pool hall to go to. I mean, you definitely want to uh, take advantage of that. Okay, and depending on what city you're in, you might have more, you might have less. But you kind, you guys kind of get the idea of what I'm talking about. Okay, but we're gonna go to Sandy Springs Billiards because this is the pool hall that I've helped uh, drive traffic and get more business to their uh, location. Okay, so we're gonna go to, into their listing and we're going to sign in. Okay. We're going to sign in, and, and we're going to, I'm going to show you the different stats and how many people are coming to the website, what people are searching for when they are coming uh, from the different areas. Okay, and just a little quick tip, guys, for all you pool owners that are watching this: make sure you add pictures.